What is going on everybody and welcome to another video. Today we're checking out Bill Burr is glad Stephen Hawking is dead. Well that's not very nice. But I'm assuming he's gonna go to the to the whole situation of Stephen Hawking. He obviously had that dis disease where it slowly paralyzed him, I think. Obviously he was fine in his younger later days and as it progressed it got worse and worse till he was wheelchair browned and then he had like the whole facial rest like scan thing and he could speak obviously one of the most famous modern physicists and he's contributed a lot to physics in his life but like i said it's probably going to be bill Burr saying he feels sorry for him or he's glad he's out of his pain of being in the wheelchair whatever it is something like that but yeah be sure to suggest your videos in the comments to watch and subscribe and we're going to get into this video I'm afraid of robots <laughs> yeah I saw robots interviewed on 60 minutes the top journalistic program in the united states and he's just sitting there getting interviewed not nervous at all just rattling off all the fucking answers yeah well it's a computer program not bro smoking not fucking you know leaking oil whatever you would do as leaking as oil as robot, right? robots don't get nervous is asking him questions and in the end he goes so tell us he's like uh he's like what are your goals and I am alone in a hotel room. And I literally lean towards the TV. I'm like, do these fucking things have goals? <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, the fucking robot just answers. He just goes, uh, to be, uh, he goes, well, what are your goals? And the robot goes, uh, to become smarter than human beings. <laughs> Come on, dude. Yeah. Some guy wrote that in the program. He just blows by and he goes like, okay, and uh, what's your favorite color? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm standing on my bed yelling at the TV like, dude, unplug that fucking thing! Take the batteries out! Pour the wa pull the wires out! Do something! How many no, you you know the, the original programmer of this robot who wrote the software, he wrote the program. Put that intentionally in there to for, uh, to mess with guys like Bill <laughs> to make him go crazy and think robots are coming for him. Sci-fi movies do you, you know have to see done it on before purpose. you realize where this is going? <laughs> Anyways, every smart person, every super smart person in the world is saying these fucking things are going to kill us. Even your boy here, the guy who he recently died. What was his name? He was, uh, he was always sitting down. Oh. <laughs> Hawkins, Stephen Hawkins, yeah. Too good to fucking stand up and make his point just sitting down all fucking smarmy. <laughs> Damn, I not liking oh, that one. I care so much. I poured ice on myself. Wait, you done the ice bucket um, challenge? And I showed off my abs at the same time for the gram. No, I'm just fucking with you. I'm so glad that guy's fucking dead, though. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you guys. Your heart. How much longer do you want him to suffer? You don't believe in an afterlife? Maybe he's up there now. He's, he's his fucking legs work. He's getting an angelic blowjob. Uh. How much longer do you want him to fucking sit there so you could feel better about yeah, yourself? Yeah, it doesn't well, seem like a fun life, to be fair. Up, saying smart shit, right? I couldn't fucking stand that guy. <laughs> he was so fucking negative. He never had anything positive. It's true. Say. Stephen Hawking hey, was Steve, negative. What do you got for us today? In 2035, there'll be no more apples. Yeah, he <laughs> used to say it like that. Thanks a lot. Wasn't thinking about that. Now I am. Hey, so what's the solution? It's too late. We needed to try for it. Yeah. Thanks a lot, buddy. I'm going to go cry with my child now. <laughs> Dude, I can hang with that, out with that guy for about three minutes before I took the break off his chair and just zoomed him into the other room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steve, come back in when you got something dumb and positive to say. Okay, this is a short video, but yeah, I mean, like I said, it's him saying he kind of, in a way, is glad he's out of his pain while poking fun at him. I mean, Stephen Hawking did used to say a lot of negative shit. You know, he's like, the robots will take over at this time. He used to say, oh... This is gonna happen. He, he threw that party for so-called time travelers, where he uh, didn't tell anyone. He he had a party by himself apparently, and he said if there were time travelers, they would have, when they realized he was throwing it, would have gone back in time. But that doesn't make sense, does it? But yeah, Stephen Hawking obviously really smart. Like I said, I mean that that disease that he had or disorder, whatever it, whatever it was, couldn't have been an easy life for him to live. You know, just sitting there i mean he's he's you know if you have a if you're paralyzed you're just stuck 
You know what I mean? And you rely on people to take care of you. So you can never do anything of your own will anymore. He was probably stuck in his own head a lot. You know, I can't imagine not being able to just go out and do something or even just sit here and, and, and you know, play video games or even watch videos to some extent. He couldn't communicate with people. I mean, his life was probably very difficult after he had all the problems. But yeah, I mean, he did live pretty good to an old age. I think he was like in his late 60s, 70s. So yeah obviously a great guy though but yeah thank you all for watching this video be sure to leave a like subscribe suggest videos in the comments and i'll see you all next time